Today I'd like to talk to you about what is in this package. It contains many things. Hopes, dreams, ambitions, but mainly blood, sweat and tears and a few disappointments. So the idea of this video is that when we come to the end you'll have a item that works well, looks good, was easier to assemble and build and something that you are proud that you actually started. So what is inside this box? Let the magic begin. It is in fact the journey, the foray into building the Syntron Cossel Delta 3D printer kit that you could get off eBay for just under $500. Now the reason for this series, and it is a fairly long series but it is a detailed series of videos, is to show you how to build it according to the manual, what problems you will come across in building it to the manual, what fixes there are to getting over uh, to overcoming those problems and what solutions and what improvements there are. The series takes you from the opening of the box where you're supposed to check all your components that they're all there, all in good condition and it proceeds all the way through into making some changes and some modifications. The raising of the height of the printer, I will show you how and the why. The changing of the spool holder, I'll show you the how and the why. On my kit they supplied this particular LCD because they didn't have the normal one in stock so the whole series is based on that but yours will only be slight modifications but I also show you how to mount all your electronics in underneath I also show you how to make a slide out holder for the panel I also show you how to overcome the probing problems and, and the solutions there. Why it's got feet on the top and the bottom. Why it's got a temperature gauge up the top. Why it lights up red when I switch it on. But this is only up to the mechanical stage. So I show you how to build it mechanically. How to wire it up then how to get the settings as easily and quickly and as accurately as possible up to where you then start doing the printing. I left it at this stage because I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you follow this series of videos. The only extra that I will be doing and I didn't want to finish it printing this out because it's all beautiful is I'm putting end corners on so as the cable will wrap around and I will be making a honeycomb mesh just to sit in there. But look at the printer how many zip ties do you see? How much excess cable and wiring do you see? How sloppy how half-hearted does it look? I've shifted the extruder motor down here and I'll explain why. Made up the bracket. But as you can see, it is a very neat, professional looking solution to the kit. Is the kit for you? Well this is what you have to decide. If you're one person who just likes to build, 3D print and you don't want to know how it works or what the mathematics are, you're like we used to call a shiny ass guy. 
near the office workers who just sit on their bum all the, all the time on the computer. But if you want to learn some mechanics about it, and you don't have to be mechanically minded to start, I will show you as we go through. You may need some tools, but I'll explain them to you, but you don't have to have the tool to do it. I'll show you how to do it with the tool, then you can think, okay, that's the end result, that's what I have to achieve, will I do it this way or that way? So I'll give you several solutions. And you may have some problems with the actual product. And I must say, from the outset, I have no alliance to anyone. When I shop on eBay, I do what everyone else does. I sort by cheapest, lowest price first, including postage, and I go from there. But I must say, the people at Sintron, not only do you sell the cheapest printer kit, they are by far the best customer service of any Chinese company out there. I repeat, the best customer service of any Chinese company out there. And people like James, they help you. They would have had the same question a million times, but they always are extremely helpful in getting back to you and with a quick email and solution to your problems. You have a problem with a part, they're quick and happily to send a replacement. Because at the moment, most Chinese companies think the main thing is the cheapest price. As we know, it's three things. Price, quality and service. Once you're down to the lowest price, the other two start mattering. And if you were going to do this foray into building a kit, I would suggest going this way. It's not an easy road. You'll be frustrated. You'll have tears. You'll have some long days. And by the end of it, I get to wash this shirt. Once you finish with the videos, you'll understand what I mean. But it is a learning curve all the way. But it's a positive learning curve. So again, this is what we're going to build. This is this, the 3D Print 4A version. Later, if I get sufficient hits and all that sort of stuff from subscribers, I'll then do some other videos about getting the modifications and all that sort of stuff. But at the moment, this is a journey to take you from opening the box to pressing the print button. So, get a long weekend, order all the uh, parts that I recommend beforehand. Watch the whole series of the videos. You must watch the whole series because in the videos I'll be doing something and then you build this and you build that then you come to something else and that's not right and you have to affect way back here. So that will be covered by back to the future moments. You'll see this symbol come up and that means that I've progressed up to a stage on that far along the path now I've rushed back to you to say, look, I've tried that, this is the solution I've come up with. Also, each video at the end, as in all our videos, will have a QR code. And they look like this, and you just get out your, your smartphone, and if, if you've got the barcode reader, you just take a photo of it, pause the video, take a photo, and it will show you the links anything that I mentioned, other videos, websites, information, so that's it. So watch each video to the very end, get your smartphone out, take a picture for more information, watch the complete set behind, note down what I mentioned, what to buy, what not to buy, so have that list, then when you're ready to order your machine, order your machine, order the parts like wrapping and all this sort of thing. Then watch the whole series, notice what the final result is, and then you have the choice. I'll just do what the manual says to do, and you know what may or may not work, or we might follow the 3D print 4A method and achieve this end. But anyway, it's going to be fun going through this journey with you, and in the end, 
you'll have a nice printer that you should be proud of. And if you like the series of videos, subscribe, tell your friends, get the hit numbers up. But if you don't like it, let me know. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.